Now the number one digging team in the league. So maganda talaga ang depensa nila. No, especially with the leadership of Encarnacion as their libero who played spectacular defense in their game against Ateneo. But couldn't contain that cross-court attack from Angel Canino. Angel Canino already a household name by now. She has really made a name for herself here in the UAAP. Tega Gata continuing to serve. And again, the blocking force, as expected. The SU is on top in the blocking department, and we see why they are up by four. That's two quick points for FEU. Yeah. Another chance here for the Lady Spikers. Canino this time with a cut shot, almost. Almost. Good effort by Demosora, but Canino just too strong. No, and Alba can always expect Canino to deliver the points with a sharp cross-court attack. Demosora was actually there. Obaldo with a quick there. Alba to Canino again, and this time Canino goes deep, going to go for zone six over there. Now earlier it was a fast set. Ngayon parang beniten ni Alba. Edjo dos lang. Great adjustment by the blockers of FEU. Actually, FEU Lady Tamara is getting some three points off the service errors of DLSU. Uh, yeah, make that a six-point deficit. A lot for FEU to catch up. Canino again, why not? And of course, Ayel, as a setter, you know when you know who the hot hand is, you just keep feeding her. Exactly, and great delay there from Alba and Canino just maximizing the loose block of Panangin. A lot of space for the cross court attack. Batalio is 5'5, five five. she's listed as 5'5, five five, but you can't tell that when she goes up for her attacks. Dahil napakalakas tumalon at napakalakas na mga palo. But that's certainly a height disadvantage that DLSU can exploit. Oh, but Canino successful in that top spin attack.